Welcome to my first video on my watercolor series. Today we are going to explore your watercolor palettes by doing a simple watercolor chart. We create a row of Roy G. Biv plus brown and black, and then a column of Roy G. Biv plus brown and black. So a horizontal and a vertical line. Each of these letters stands for a color, so we go across the line with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and brown and black. Then I start to take the colors and start to mix them accordingly. When I start with red, I know that red is going to be the more dominant color in that particular row. So when I get to red, something like red-orange, I want it to be much more red than orange. So then when I get to my orange column, I know when I get to the orange red that I want it to be much more dominant in the orange. Not only is this activity a great blending practice, but it's also an amazing reference to use in your future artworks. This way you can come back and see which colors mixed better. Maybe you can understand what tones down a color or what intensifies a color. And it will also help inform your future color choices in bigger art assignments. I don't just do this assignment once. This is something I do every time I buy myself a new watercolor palette. It's a great way to try, out, try them out and get familiar with the different kind of hues that are included in your particular watercolor palette. Remember to have your water nearby and your paper towel to Clean off your brush in between each of the color mixing. You can see that my watercolor palette on the left side is left very clean, although I keep going back and doing all kinds of mixing. You want to really practice cleaning your brush in between the different strokes. So have some fun with your color mixing today, see what colors speak to you the most, and really work on creating some more dominant tones in your artwork. Try to control the amount of color and water as we just begin to dip into the magic that is watercolor. 